What's up? Episode number 28 of the Seller's Cast. My name is Andrew Maffetone. My name is Gina Malazzo. And this is the many landing pages for e-commerce sellers. Bye. <laughs> so, landing page for e-commerce sellers, here's what we're gonna talk about, right? So let's go over, real quick, let's go over the many different types of landing pages. And then we will discuss optimizing said landing pages. So, sure. by channel, so you can do a landing page based on if someone comes to you from Facebook or if someone comes to you from Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn or email or some other website that you may be on, some backlink that gets a ton of traffic, yeah. uh, a direct mail website link that you send out, a box stuffer website link that you send out. Um, so by channel is always fantastic. Although I guess those links wouldn't be by channel, that would really be by traffic, but whatever. Mm, he's a liar, we're good here. start. We're here, shut up, shut me. Uh, so then you have by specific ad. So mm -hmm. for social media, this usually works better because your ad creative may be different than the landing page you're sending them to. So you want to make sure that you fix that. So you can run an ad on Facebook or on Instagram or wherever you're running an ad. And depending on the creative you're using, you may want to replicate that same feel on the landing page because then it really helps drive the consumers trustworthiness knowing that they are in fact in the right place because this looks like the thing that just clicked on. Whoa. Like, oh my God. People are that stupid. It's like walnut brains. The average consumer is not stupid. Oh my. They're just lazy. That is... Also probably stupid. Think of the stupidest <laughs> person you've ever met in your life and think that like not that many people are going to be <laughs> So... Same with email. So if you're sending out an email, you're doing a very large email campaign based on, hey, it's Labor Day, here's 20% off, uh, you know, here's an email based on what it looks like, send them to a landing page that is actually Labor Day feeling, yeah, or Memorial Day. Day. I always forget which one's first. Earth. Memorial Day. Memorial Day's first. Arbor Day. Arbor Day. Easter. Earth um, Day. Does that happen already? So, this, so. this one's getting out of hand. So, <laughs> landing pages. Uh, let's do, uh, did I miss any? Um, by CTA. Do you want them to bundle? Do you want them to subscribe? Do you want them to get 19 things instead of one? And Always. if you have the ability to personalize them, we suggest doing that. So yes, you may have, let's say, a Memorial Day landing page based on an email that you sent out that is Memorial Day themed, but you also know the person's name, you could potentially personalize the top of that landing page that just says, welcome, Andrew, welcome, you know, depending on who actually lands on it. Or you can do by location. So if they have zip code or if they have a uh, city or any data that you have prior, you can actually use to personalize these things. If you have smart tokens or whatever else, different landing pages, I'll give them different names, but any kind of personalization data, we always suggest doing what you can there without making it too, too creepy, because otherwise then it's kind of weird and people get freaked out and they, they think they're yeah. listening to them. <laughs> it's creepy. Uh, so landing page, um, best practices. So, uh, top left, logo, always link to the homepage. Don't, you don't want to lock them in too yeah, much. It freaks them out. Yeah, yeah. but- look at, look at me, this is what yeah. people do. They well, do this. But you still want to get rid of all your menu items, you want to get rid of all that stuff. In fact, your landing page should not even really look that much like your website. Um, it needs to look similar, it needs to be branded, but it needs to not, it needs to not function like a website. Basically, you are on this page and you have one thing to do and that's buy. And then after that, go home, I don't care what you do. Bye. So, very simple, when you land on the landing page, straight to the point. What is this, what am I buying, what do you want me to do? Don't like, don't ask questions, no fluff. don't fluff, yes, this thank you. This is not don't, the place for a long time. No. In oh. no way, shape, or form. You're here time. because no. you love to party and do this and you have to- Happy Memorial Day! If I have to scroll halfway through a page to find out what it is you want from me, I'm not buying. I'm not, you're not gonna make it there. It's exactly. Just, you're losing people. Straight to the point, really, really short, limited text at the top, at the bang, top of bang, the fold. Boom and then have just a little bit of something at the bottom of the fold or some kind of arrow or something so that they know to scroll and then they'll continue to scroll through. 
Stop with this click funnel BS novel long landing page. No one is reading that. I will, someone share this with Russell Brunson and tell him that landing, like most of your, most of the people who use click funnels are writing novels and no one's it's reading not a that. Starter, I promise. It, no, no one's reading it. Here's here's what the product is, here's the benefits, here's some testimonials, here's a discount, here's the call to action, here's some more testimonials because you kept scrolling, so I'm gonna give you more crap. But just straight to the point, don't make them too long, get exactly the right information that you want without overdoing it. The average consumer wants to make a decision in under a minute about whether they're gonna buy or not, so you need to make sure that you can get all that information across in under a minute. No fluff. None. 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 So, we're watching. Tool of the day. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to say HubSpot again just because I like their landing page. Yeah, we, can, we can personally, yeah, they gave me a t shirt. They dress me, so I'll give them love. Uh, there are a lot of other great landing page e commerce style ones out there. There's a ton of great apps for, for Shopify. We even decided that we're just gonna makeshift hack HubSpot so that we could make it work with Shopify. But in reality, there's a ton of other ones that are really good out there. We just, personal preference, leave me alone. Um, but do it. Comment below, let us know what else you want us to talk about, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.